Mars is a planet of vast contrasts. Huge volcanoes, deep canyons, and craters that may or may not host running water. It will be an amazing location for future tourists to explore, though, once we put the first red planet colonies into motion. Here are top four locations that future Martians could visit. 1. Olympus Mons and Tharsis Volcanoes Number one on my list is Olympus Mons, which is the most extreme volcano in the solar system, which is located in the Tharsis volcanic region. Its height of 16 miles makes it nearly three times the height of Earth's Mount Everest, and it's about the same size as the state of Arizona. Olympus Mons is a gigantic shield volcano, which was formed after lava slowly crawled down its slopes. This means that the mountain is probably easy for future explorers to climb, as its average slope is only 5%. And while you're climbing around Olympus Mons, it's worth sticking around to look at some of the other volcanoes in the Tharsis region, because Tharsis hosts 12 gigantic volcanoes in a zone roughly 2,500 miles wide, according to NASA. These volcanoes may have erupted for as long as 2 billion years, or half of the history of Mars. 2. Valles Marineris Mars not only hosts the largest volcano of the solar system, but also the largest canyon, which can also be a potential attraction for tourists. Valles Marineris is roughly 1850 miles long. That's about four times longer than the Grand Canyon, which has a length of about 500 miles. Many scientists suggest that when the Tharsis region was formed, it contributed to the growth of this canyon. As lava moving through the volcanic region pushed the crust upward, which broke the crust into fractures in other regions, and over time, these fractures grew into canyon. 3. The North and South Poles Mars has two icy regions at its poles, with slightly different compositions. During the winter, temperatures near both the poles are so frigid that carbon dioxide condenses out of the atmosphere into ice on the surface. The process reverses in the summer, when the carbon dioxide sublimates back into the atmosphere. The carbon dioxide completely disappears in the northern hemisphere, leaving behind a water ice cap. But some of the carbon dioxide ice remains in the southern atmosphere. All of this ice movement has vast effects on the Martian climate, producing winds and other effects. 4. Medusae Fossae Medusae Fossae is one of the weirdest locations on Mars, with some people even speculating that it holds evidence of some sort of a UFO crash. The more likely explanation is, it is a huge volcanic deposit, some one-fifth of the size of the United States, and over time, Wen sculpted the rocks into some beautiful formations. Future Mars tourists could also be interested in this location. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos.